Actually, well, the core of the firm, uh, with Shelby, Bill, me, and Louise, uh, has remained intact, uh, and and all of the nine original partners have, have also remained together. I joined in 1981, uh, eventually became Paul Johnson, Alston, and Hunt, and at some point, Louise Ng joined us. Um, and in 1991, we decided to begin our own firm uh, because we wanted to grow into a larger firm. So that's what we did. We gathered um, the four of us. And um, never having done this before from scratch, we figured out, OK, you know, let's make a list. We've, we did the things we needed to do um, to start a new firm. We are bound together by a common vision of uh, the, the importance of our mission in terms of uh, pursuing justice for our clients and by long friendships. The most important thing in our minds was that none of our existing employees, our former employees, would um, get lost in the, the shuffle. So I think we were idealistic, but we realized what it was going to take to run a, a firm, and that's why we grew as we did. Um, we believed that we needed to expand the base of the firm to bring in talented people that we knew and from other firms that we did. We started actually recruiting people that we knew and respected and had worked with. I think some of us had a desire to, that in order to do good work for our clients and make an impact in the community, we needed to grow as much as necessary in order to be able to service our clients and also develop our professional skills and the idea of always being on the lookout and being willing to add talented, good attorneys was appealing to us. People who are smart, dedicated, and perhaps most importantly, people who understand that the law is a service business, that uh, you know, wh what you have to, to commit to is putting the client's interests first and uh, protecting those, the client's interests. But it was a plan to be um, the best, to really focus on client service, uh, you know, maximize our skills for the benefit of our clients. And we almost didn't care how we got there, you know, what the combination was of people or uh, area of practice, but that we needed to have like-minded people, smart, you know, really willing to go out of their way um, for customer service, client service. It is the fact that the firm feels progressive, that it allows all of the attorneys to pursue their interests in how they want to um, practice law, how they want to work in the community, what they want to do. I think that's what allows us to have the network because the attorneys get to pursue what they're interested in. I mean, we have people who recognize that, that we must work as a team both with the client and internally you know, among the lawyers in the firm. I think we tried to engender a, a feeling of family. Um, we've had uh, staff members that have been with us from the old firm, so 25 years or more. Uh, we try to treat them well. We try to give everybody as many tools as they need to do a good job, even if it might cost a little bit more. We don't run the firm in terms of trying to cut costs. We, we try to give them the, the, whatever they need, the supplies, the staffing, the backup. To, um, to be good attorneys and then to have some time, hopefully, to do other things in the community and, and on boards and things like that. When I talk to young attorneys, I want them to see that it's not simply a business. It's not just a paycheck. Um, ideally, they love the practice of law. They have to find that particular aspect in the practice that really lights them up and bring all that passion to the work that they do in the office. When you see that flame lit where it is the law that is their passion, um, it's wonderful. Ultimately, whether you're dealing with a big business client or an individual client, it comes down to the people and the personal relationships you develop with that client or client representative. And um, you know, our goal is, in representing them is to make them look good and to get their problem solved. You can't look at the client's problems simply in isolation. You have to look at it as part of a larger and an ongoing set of relationships 
uh, so that uh, you, know, you haven't uh, won the battle and lost the war, so to speak. I would define Alston Hunt Floyd Ning by its unique focus on helping people, rich and poor, famous and infamous, solve legal problems. And whether they entail litigation or government relations or other skills that we can bring, we will help people solve problems.